Cureleaf has redesigned their dispensaries. Their new modern, fresh look is now on display in Ware, Massachusetts, and we got a chance to check it out. So what you have here today is that this is our new look and feel at Cureleaf. Uh, right now it's only available in, in two stores around the country here in Massachusetts actually. One is, is where, which we are today, and then out on the Cape Cod in Provincetown. So this look is, is quite different from our old look. It's, uh, the old look, I think, would be a little bit more medically focused, a little bit more kind of white, uh, neutral tones. What we're trying to do here is a, a much more modern look, a more welcoming look, something that's as unique as the people that we come in uh, for an experience here, both customers and patients. And what was behind the change of the design? Did you guys do research, market research, on how it was going to work out? Yeah, no. So we've uh, certainly we've tried to come up with a concept that we felt was um, going to uh, I don't want to stand the test of time, but really stick with kind of the ev evolution of what, where we started from and where we're looking to go. So this look uh, we felt was it's it's like I said it's it's sleek, it's modern, and it works well um, kind of both across medical and adult use, and and we felt it, it's it's warm and, and inviting. So it's it's uh, it's been successful we believe so far. Of course, COVID has impacted a lot of brick and mortar retail, certainly in Massachusetts. Recreational was shut down for a while. It's back open. Was this design already somewhat prepared for new COVID type of restrictions? No, so, so actually this store opened 10 days before we got shut down. So it was only open for, so this being adult use only, it was open for 10 days. It was shut down for two months and now it's been open for a month and a half. But we certainly had to, I don't know if retrofit is the right word, but we've taken extra precautions now that it is, um, you know, due to COVID. Um, so what you will see here is, uh, you know, we do practice social distancing. We have markers on the floor. We have sneeze guards on all the registers. We're really operating half the registers of what we typically could do just to kind of further promote that spacing. Uh, we've moved uh, towards, um, we've implemented an application called Waitlist Me. So in case there are lines, people can wait in their car, they can run an errand, and they'll know exactly where they stand in line. Uh, we've also implemented curbside pickup and uh, mobile online ordering. So try to really decrease the amount of time people spend in the store. If they don't want to spend here, we can also deliver product out in the car. You know, different stores do it different ways. I think for Cureleaf, we felt it was important to us to represent, try to represent where where we are as a company. We feel like we are at the forefront of, of, of being modern, both from our from our products or new innovations around. We just launched nano uh, gummies, which is very innovative, um, as well as the technologies we use. So we felt everything here should reflect trying to be, you know, the, the leader in, in kind of what it is to be, you know, be a, a it, you know, 21st century kind of dispensary, I think, you know, and, and this is where we're at right now. So, so right now um, in Massachusetts, we have uh, a lot of Cureleaf and Uku products. So Uku was our, was a really meant to be our adult use brand. Um, and obviously with Select coming on board, we are slowly migrating away from Uku uh, with the majority of products to, to kind of introduce Select here in Massachusetts. We just launched uh, Select Elite, the cartridges on July 3rd. Um, we've also launched a select nano gummies uh, on, on July 3rd, but for now, right now they're just in, in Provincetown. And those will be introduced across the rest of the state um, in the next few weeks. Let's talk about that grassroots acquisition because that's coming up and that's going to make Cureleaf just a, a huge company. Yeah, no. So that deal obviously went through last week and we are now officially the largest cannabis company in the world by revenue. And, you know, being, you know, we are the largest uh, vertically integrated company in, in the United States, which happens to be the largest cannabis market in the world. So, no, that that really overnight we went from being in 18 states to 23 states. Uh, we went from having, you know, 2,200 employees to over 3,000 employees. And we, um, you know, so right now we are, we have 88 dispensaries across the country. We have 30 uh, processing sites, 22 cultivation sites. So now we are extremely excited about that. That's obviously going to open a ton of more opportunity for us. You know, here in New England, I think we're, you know, we're adding a store in Vermont. I think Connecticut's getting a store, specifically Massachusetts, um, you know, besides, you know, all the valuable expertise and, 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 and branding that they bring, you know, there's no direct impact. We're already at max licenses here in Massachusetts, but uh, no, we're very excited. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report, reporting from Cureleaf Dispensary in Ware, Massachusetts.